Hi guys, picking up where we left off. Character codes. Okay, so there's different character codes. ASCII. In ASCII, each character is represented by one byte, and the first bit is always zero. Remember, eight bit eight bits equals one byte. Now ANSI or extended ASCII. Each character is represented by one byte, but the first bit may be either zero or one. And you can see how that opens up the range of characters that we could use. Because now instead of always starting with zero, we may start with either zero or one which greatly increases the number of, of um, characters we can have in this character code. Now, Unicode, each character is represented by two bytes. So, with error checking, one thing that we use for error checking is parity bits, used to verify correctiveness. One parity bit is added to a group of bits. We only care about ones when doing this method of checking, not zero. For the odd parity, if the data sent is correct, the number of ones in the data plus the parity bit is odd, and it's the opposite for even parity. Now, application software comprises the programs that do the work that users are directly interested in. So when you open up an application on your computer, right, that's being run by application software. Software licenses protect the copyright by placing restrictions on the user. Commercial software is copyrighted. Public domain software is not copyrighted. Shareware is copyrighted. It's available for free, but you should pay. Freeware is copyrighted, but available for free. And rentalware is copyrighted, but you lease it for free, for a fee. Now, so a software license is where you sign a contract in which you agree not to make copies of the software to give away or sell. And there are certain types of software licenses. So, site licenses allow the storage to be used on all computers at a specific location. So say you're in a company, you may purchase a site license for that company at that specific location. Concurrent use licenses allow a certain number of copies of the software to be used at the same time. So this means that a certain amount of copies of the software you're using can be used at the same time. Right now, multiple user license specifies the number of people who may use the software. And single user license limits the software use to just one user at a time. Now, public domain software is not protected by copyright and thus may be duplicated by anyone at will. Now, this is very important. Running a program, the steps are to fetch, deco decode, execute, and store. So when we fetch, the next instruction is fetch from the cache or RAM. Then, for decode, the instructions are decoded into a form that ALU or FPU can understand. For the execute step, the instructions such as the ALU or FPU performing a computation are carried out. And then for store, the data or results from the instruction execution are stored in registers in the registers or RAM. Right, so dot pitch is the amount of space between adjacent pixels. Resolution is the image sharpness. Color depth or bit depth is the number of bits stored in a dot. And there have been five generations of programming languages. Machine language, assembly language, high level languages, which have been procedural and object oriented, very high level languages, which are problem oriented languages, and natural languages. Some languages and some facts about each. Basic is, the easy, is called like the easy language, they call it. Fortran is the language of mathematics and the first high level language ever. COBOL is the first language of business. Pascal is known as the simple language. C is used for probability, OS, and scientific use. I, portability, that's either for prototyping or portability. Sorry about that. Uh, OS and scientific use. And then C++ is an enhancement of C. Notice the incrementation, the plus plus, right? So one above. And then LISP is for the AI programs. Now, I'm going to leave you with this thought. OOP, or object-oriented programming, any object-oriented programming language is programming by building with classes. And we'll build on that concept in the next tutorial. Thanks. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and see you in the next tutorial.